What's happening internet? Everybody out there on YouTube, how are you? Today I am back with the usual suspects, Big John 0117, Real People 26, back on the streets for episode 4. Now the three of us actually had time to fit in four games, but this is the only one where people did not quit out, that we were not stuck facing CPU opponents. Big shout out to all of the quitters out there, mucking up 2K Universe and making things difficult for people just trying to play a regular online game, because we come online to play people, not to play the computer. Once again, big shout out to all the quitters. On a more serious note, I want to thank all my subs. We are quickly approaching the half century mark, 50 subscribers. We're getting there, stick with me. If I keep getting support, if I keep sensing that there's growth, I will keep the videos coming. Please subscribe, please give me that thumbs up. That's all I'm looking for, a little bit incentive. I'm gonna work hard at it. I don't hardly sleep, so I'm putting the time in, making these videos and bringing them out to you. As the video is titled, there is a post-game glitch. We saw a glitch in episode three where I did a teleportation from the underneath of the hoop all the way to the corner of the court. And then in this one, you'll have to wait and see, but we're stuck in a bit of a limbo at the end of the game. Blacktop is unique. It has its own set of glitches. It doesn't have things like my team, but if you've ever played enough Blacktop, you may have seen the invisible ball trick where the basketball actually disappears for a period of time. Sometimes it reappears within the game. Sometimes you go the entire duration without the basketball. If you've got a team, it's not much of a problem. You can still move the ball. You still know, in theory, where it is. But it is kind of cool, also kind of a pain in the ass. Unfortunately, that is not the glitch that I have showcased in this one. Don't have any recorded gameplay of actually encountering the invisible ball glitch. Now I've had some inquiries about my my player, his jump shot, signature skills, things of that nature. So in this video I'm going to take just a little bit of time and we'll briefly cover a few of those characteristics and what makes my my player work for me and why I have chosen the signature skills that I have. Going upstairs and you can see up top that my name is Earl Manigault is a all around point guard. I do wear the blue ice or blue diamond jewelry that allows me to get a boost in every category where there is space to receive a boost. The all around gives me a great total game. I can do a little bit of everything. If you look at the season stats, I'm averaging over 28 points a game, a handful of assists. I need more steals and if I were to make it to season 2, which isn't going to happen on 2K13, I'd definitely focus more on rebounding. Most of the season I played without Scrapper. And if you don't have Scrapper on your My Player, I would advise you get it. It is well worth the one slot. It's not as expensive as some of the others. And have you ever felt that feeling where your guy would just not react fastly to a loose ball or couldn't get position with the rebound? Well, Scrapper changes that. Tr Scrapper changed my my player's life. Along with the Scrappy Do Sig skill, we've got pickpocket. That's important for me as a point guard to have. I play a lot of on ball defense at the point position. I need to be able to get some steals now and then. With the offensive end, we've got dead eye and spot up. This is important for a point guard to have. You need the post players to be able to rely on you for knockdown outside shooting. And the dead eye is nice because you'll also find that when you're trying to take the game over from the point guard position, you'll face a lot of double teams. And along with those, you have the dimer, the facilitator signature skill. This gives a boost to anybody on my team that is receiving a pass for me that would count as an assist. I am shocked how often I see other commentators, other players that don't use the dimer signature skill. It is absolutely valuable and I will never run a player or a facilitator, position player without that signature skill or the post playmaker skill which is somewhat of the reverse. 
And the last image that we are looking at at the top of the screen is my Toronto Raptors playoff bracket. This is my My Player's first season of 2K13. We've swept all the way through the playoffs and have reached the finals. Yet to find out who our opposition will be, but surely there will be some tough competition awaiting. Full disclaimer, I have actually already completed the finals once before, but I have it saved at this point just in case I wanted to replay it at some point down the line. 2K14 is right around the corner, but I will ask my subscribers this question. Would you like to see My Name is Earl Manigault compete in the NBA Finals with the Toronto Raptors squad? I would probably play on a 2K or a drive camera, switch that up, give it a little bit different. I wouldn't show the entire gameplays. I might chop the videos down to 10 minutes as opposed to the My Team gameplays where I like to show the whole game. I have a second disclaimer and that is that if you are a Rudy Gay fan, don't vote for me to play these finals just because you would like to see Rudy Gay as he is not on my Toronto Raptors. About mid-season we had to make a trade. I needed a post presence. Andrea Bagnani was not cutting the slack and we made the move to acquire Al Jefferson from the Utah Jazz in exchange for Rudy Gay. This means more time for DeRozan and more time for Terrence Ross, but finally giving me a legitimate interior post threat in Al Jefferson. My assist numbers went up and our winning streaks as a team became much more frequent and we became the most powerful team in the NBA after that trade was made. So please don't hate me, I'm a Rudy Gay fan as well. That's just something that had to happen for our organization to make the next step. Now you look at the game, backwards and all, it's 20 to 11 it looks like, the game's winding down and we are about to see the post game glitch that I was speaking of. Let me get this block real quick. Now I'd like to know if anybody else has experienced any other glitches on the blacktop and talked about the invisible ball trick. Have you had that happen to you? Have you had this post game glitch happen? Anything else crazy? Anything I'm forgetting? I probably am. This game is over but when we're normally allowed to exit correct our stats we are stuck in this limbo post game so me and my crew decide to put on a little show alley oop after alley oop hey why not we've got a couple minutes to spare the other team wants to get in on this action as well we're having a little bit of fun but at some point it becomes a bit frustrating how long will this go on I think we endured this for about 10 minutes or so we're going at it exhibition style please what's going on 2k are you gonna let me out of this game let's check the stats real quick not gonna be able to see him at the end of the game unfortunately eventually real life interjects people have things to do and places to go Real People 26 and myself both quit this game. The only game that we actually got to play results in us leaving. And Big John is the last man left standing and earns the victory. Enjoy, subscribe, like, come back for more.